Are you troubled by strange noises in the night? You experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic. Have you or your family actually seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Just pick up the phone and call the professionals. Call the... Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. We're, We're ready, ready to, to believe, believe you. you. Franchises available soon. Call for details. No! Russell! Hey, man! You near the East Wing? Yep. But by the new ghost or exhibit? Yeah, why? There's something headed your way. Wait. I hear something. I'm gonna take a look. Wanna hear something really creepy? I was reading about Shandor, you know, the guy who donated most of the Gozer stuff. He was into the occult. You know, supernatural. Weird dude. <laughs> uh, well, why don't we talk about it some other time? Any other time. Hey, you can't be in here. Stop! Ghostbusters, is your haunting an apparition, poltergeist, phantasm wraith, banshee demon specter, tortured solar? What? No, we do not summon dead family members and catch them so you can ask the combination to the safe. Yeah, well, same to you, pal. Hey, it's the new cadet! Welcome aboard! This might be a little dangerous. Great. Danger is our life. We'll start at 50% capacity. That should keep any burning or tissue damage to a minimum. Hey, if you're gonna burn any tissue, do it to the new kid. You can't use Ray. Our mortgage is in his name. I guess he's right. What's your name again, kid? No names, Ray. I don't want to get too attached to this kid. You know, just in case... <laughs> you remember what happened to the last guy. He's tuned and ready to go. You may feel a little tingle. Good. We've perfected an extensive and rigorous training regimen that will teach you all your equipment's basic functions. It takes some time to achieve master throw skill, but it's definitely worth the effort. Was that us? I don't think so. Ray? Had to be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial. A significant collected and centralized necromantic convulsion level 7 or more. Agreed. We need EMF measurement checks now. I know the answer, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Is a level 7, uh, whatever, bad or very bad? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say... Let me guess. It's a 7. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. And that is not the fun kind of getting busy, is it, Ray? Look out! Slimer's escaped again! No, wait, come back. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the containment grid. He's been fascinated with it ever since you added the viewer to the unit. Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. Use the proton stream to get his attention. That's some highly sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Oops, you let one out? That's my fault. I was fine-tuning the interspatial gasket this afternoon. I'll fix it. You two get those ghosts back. He went into the sub-basement. And his escapee friend went with him. Hmm. Come on, kid. We got a job for you. Taking the right precautions, Slimer's harmless. Uh, more or less. Not sure about the other guy, though. Okay. Let's go get him. Oh, and uh, don't sweat the containment unit. It's easy to get excited your first time out with the proton stream. Egon will fix it in no time. 
Now, first and foremost, before things get out of hand, you want to get to know your proton pack. It can be your best friend out there in the field. Everything you need to know is displayed on the pack itself. Here's where you keep an eye on your current physical condition. The more green that's on the bar, the more damage you can sustain and still stay on your feet. This bar indicates your pack's heat level. When it gets to the top, you'll want to bend the pack and keep it from shorting out and resetting. For the most part, capturing a ghost is pretty straightforward. We break it into three basic steps. Sap them, cap them, and trap them. The first step is blasting a ghost to sap its energy. There he is! Let him have it! Do it again! See that overlay on the ghost? It indicates the current accumulation of a ghost BKE. The more you disperse, the weaker it becomes. All right, we've got it good and winded. Next stage, cap it. You can project the capture stream or wrangler manually using this control. On the other hand, the pack will detect when a ghost is sufficiently weakened and auto-select the capture stream setting. Get in there and throw a capture stream on that tub of boo. Fantastic, you got it! As soon as your ghost is in your capture stream, the slam meter begins to slowly charge. If you want to accelerate the slam meter charge, you can wrangle or counter-wrangle the ghost at the end of the line. Here's how you do that. Watch the ghost. When he makes a dash in one direction, you pull the stream quickly in the other. Give it a shot! There you go! Perfect! Fantastic! You got it! If a ghost still has some serious fight in him, it's almost impossible to drag him into the trap. You've got to soften him up. Kapow! That's right! Now we can move to stage three. Trap him. You're gonna need some place to put that. There you go! Perfect! See the beacon signal coming from the closed trap? That helps you find it when things get crazy. When a trappable ghost moves into proximity, the trap will open automatically and project the trap cone. Just guide your mark into the trap cone and the trap will do the rest. Keep it centered in the cone and let the trap do the work. And there! Oh yes! One escapee accounted for. Oh, and always remember to retrieve your trap. Did you get them? Ah, uh, we're batting 500. Slimer slipped out. Our cadet bagged his first one, though. A very nasty customer. Oh, and you've got to be very careful about crossing the streams. In a word, don't do it. Seriously. Stings like the Dickens, too. Hey, how come this mump gets all the new stuff? He's our new experimental equipment technician. He gets a cool title, too? It means he gets to carry around a bunch of untested, extremely dangerous hardware that, if not handled correctly, could blow him somewhere into New Jersey. Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. Scooter? We need to go. Let's roll. Where to, Ray? The Sedgwick Hotel. That's the first place that little spud will go. Right. Back to its initial manifestation point. They've got a real good buffet. It is a great one. When Winston returns from the opera, extend an invitation to join us at our table at the Sedgwick. Hey, you. You're up, buddy. Training will be on the job tonight. Try not to destroy too many Manhattan landmarks. That's our job. That disgusting green blob is up on the 12th floor again, wreaking havoc. I demand a refund right now. Sir, if you check the fine print on our invoice... Invoices. <laughs> right, invoices. You'll see that your warranty on rehaunting expired some time ago. You should have taken the extended service agreement. I'm getting some interesting PKE spikes here. Disturbances don't seem to be exclusive to the 12th floor. I'd like the chance to look around the building a little more. Good. Dig up what you can. That little greenie shouldn't cause us too much trouble. Ghostbusters. Well, hello. You're perfectly safe now, miss. The Ghostbusters are here. Back off, loser. Never gonna happen. <laughs> that approach rarely works with me. I'll show you why later.
All right, Ace. Get ready. Dr. Stance, if you'd do the honors. Proud to, Dr. Venkman. Part of our settlement with the city, proton packs must remain off in heavily populated public areas. And in close quarters. It minimizes the city's liabilities and satisfies the restraining order the maid here had put on us. Where we live in today, you shoot a proton stream, a highly charged particle at someone, they get all so happy. It's him! Nice. Now we got another plaintiff. Shooting a little early, but not the first time, huh? You'll get your shot, champ. Just a little patience while your accelerator depolarizes. Watch it! Contact! All right, showtime. We wear him out, then we capture him. That's what your proton stream is for. You've got him on the run! Come on, let's go! Peter! Nah, I've seen this one already. Know how it ends. You two have fun, though. I'll cover the elevators and escort any ladies safely to their rooms. Yeah, okay. And this signal looks just like your elusive little targeted entity. He's been slimed! Again! Hustle over here and help him up, will you? How did this even happen? I was covering the elevators! That mutant Stromboli snuck up on me. God, funk the fire again. When one of us goes down, we always help each other out. It's all about teamwork. Oh no, my friend. That was back in the pre-sliming era. Right now, it's all about payback. You guys need to get down here immediately. Our live-in science experiment is tearing apart the lobby, and he's not alone. More ghosts? But we gave this hotel a clean bill of health five years ago. New people die every day. Call the elevator, Junior. I'm not taking the stairs. Uh, today's not my cardio day. All right, Slimer. You've had your fun. The elevator's off limits. Egon, come in. I think we're stuck in the elevator. We need some help. Think we're stuck. Well, let's see. Think we're stuck? Think we're stuck? Think we're stuck? Ray, you guys uh, good with officially stuck in the elevators? Show of hands. Here it comes. Kill it, Ray! Need a hand? You always fail, don't you? Never mind the onion head for now. The ghost with the red cap is fighting hard to hold Stacy. Come on, he's a New York bellhop. Just tip him, will you? That convulsive PK shockwave really stirred the nest. Man, this lobby is so wrecked. Can we please call Winston and tell him his night off is officially ended? <laughs> the database. It's on your left. <laughs> Ray, follow me. The others are floating back upstairs. Venkman, you two pull our friend Slimer into a trap as fast as you can. There's a massive bulge in these spikes indicating this isn't just some routine clearing job. He gets so bossy when he hasn't had his nap. Hey now, is that honey glazed ham and prime rib? There, the Alhambra ballroom. No way he could pass that up. Absolutely not! You can't go in. The Rodriguez Bar Mitzvah is set to start in half an hour. I'll bet the beef brisket is today's special. And you've done quite enough already. I'm sure the thing will just go away. I... I'm willing to risk it. You're not going in there. That's all we needed to hear. All right, we're out. Coffee time, everyone. Service has been declined beyond this point. Sounds like the Alhambra's off limits. The schnutz, you say? Nobody slimes Pete Venkman twice and gets away with it. Be careful, Peter. Remember the Ellis Island incident? You bring your apron? We're gonna take a little shortcut through the kitchen.
going to pay for all of this. No need to worry, sir. As you know, the mayor rode to office on a strictly pro-Ghostbusters platform, and we now invoice the city directly for all captures and eliminations. And unhaunted New York is a tourist-friendly New York. No, but damage. The mayor and the city have taken out an extensive insurance policy as well, so you're covered. Honestly, I'm sensing some hostility here. Perhaps we should just leave the ghosts here, if that's what you would prefer, sir. No, no, but please be discreet. Discretion is our professional watch. Hands up! Whoa! Where did he come from? I suppose we should go after him, unless you want to discuss it first. Cadet, go with Dr. Spangler. Check out the angry fisherman. This way. Looks like he's drifting upstairs. There. Move. Take the lead. Take this trap. Hey, is there a bathtub overflowing up there? More specifically, a 7,000 cubic meter bathtub filled with propanically charged seawater and the um, sea cucumbers. Good work. Are you all right? Nice going. You might really be the right person for this job. Yes, you have destroyed a significant section of a five-star New York hotel in just under three hours. Your mother and I are so proud. Aren't we, Egon? He's got something. Let's track it down. Egon? Ray? This is something new for us, isn't it? First one I've ever seen. Some type of highly focused anthropomorphic animator. An entity which attracts familiar objects to itself so it can materially manifest its rage. It's generating a field of attraction so strong that it's able to reassemble its component parts. Legs off back when it gets burning. Forks flying at me, but when knives and forks become a big angry giant, that's really me not liking it. A lot. Happens every day, right? Anybody here from Zetamore? Uh, guys, I'm right outside. And so is something else. Gosh, we've missed you, partner. Glad you could make it. But first, how was Aida? Well, we had to make do with uh, this new specimen here. I've been trying to get here for over four hours, Peter. Traffic is a little blocked right now. Wait. I know that thud. Winston, what do you see out there? It's big. It's clean and soft and white. And you all aren't gonna like it. No, this is not possible. Not here, not now. Not again! I swear it. Pull it together, Ray. What do we have that can stop that cheap confection? 
Ray, weren't you going to finish up the install of the Super Slammer today? The Super Slammer? <laughs> Sounds untested. Tacky and exciting. I'm in. But will it work? Against the minions of a god? That was never the intent. But in theory, I suppose it could. The muon trap of this capacity has never been used or even tried before. Uh-huh. And why would that stop guys that don't know any better? Yeah, man. What are we? The FDA? We'll have to clear a path through this mess first. Get moving! This residue is animating! Lordy, help us! J-Puff is somehow hatching these mini-minions from himself. Well, there's paranormal physiology for you. Always something to make your stomach turn. Nevelsome little yarpers! Yep, they look so darn tasty. Blast them! Am I hearing wings? And gargoyles. The game we played when I was in the seminary. Ghosts and gargoyles. What dink game didn't you play? Do you have your eight-sided dice with you? That looks like our ticket. That tank is leaking gas all over the place. That is a serious safety hazard, man. I wanted to test these first, but since we're waving that safety step today anyway, modified the Neutrona wand, which normally releases the particle stream. Wow, it's like Christmas game early. Earlier than what? We started Christmas before Halloween this year. Santa came to my house dressed as Dracula. You guys might want to stand back. How far exactly? Back. Way back. Do I still have eyebrows? Sam, Sam. I said way back. Nicely done. Great job, kid. Yeah. Combustible gasoline. It's the future. Egon, once again on the Super Slammer. I, uh, I'll get my horn. It's a prototype, Peter. You recall the memo from you about getting too many memos on prototypes? Well, I did write that. We mounted a high expansion rapid cycle multiple ghost absorber. It's faster and larger than our portable units. Am I in jeopardy? Is this a big enough stick to roast this guy? Okay, okay. Potentially, but our exposure to interdimensional deities has been only marginal to date, so it would be wise to anticipate some error. Somebody needs a ghost ghost. You know, for a big guy, he feels awfully sneaky. We should tie up the pallet on his neck. Hindenburg. Opera. Wasn't that show shut down when the stage caught fire and killed the cast? I read the reviews. Oh, the humanity. I had to say that. That's right. Ruthless producers. They just reopened it last week. It's cracking. There must be something really bad about this place. Grab a full scan. Good idea. We should probably have a look around. Guess that means we're not alone. Yep. These are unusual flux patterns. Whoa, wait! Don't touch that. That's what I thought. Black slime. Black slime is a hazardous form of ectoplasmic residue. Toxic to both body and soul. It's very dangerous. Egon and I haven't developed clothes and boots sufficient enough to insulate against the negative psychokinetic effects of this stuff yet, so... Be careful. In other words, the stains don't ever come out. Yourself! Oh!
that lady singing? She is so old. Looks like an opera singer. And a hefty one at that. Peter, you better take her. What's that supposed to mean? I'm a chubby chaser? I take out one plump girl, a blind date, like her personality, and you guys can't Just did a service to humanity, kid. Hindenburg is a terrible show. Times Square, post-urban renewal. All shiny and clean. I love it. Say, is that him? Well, it's hard to miss. Hey, gun. How close do we have to get the big trap to reel him in? A lot closer than this. What's he up to now? He's looking for something. Is he looking for something or someone? If you can see behind me, the streets are in absolute chaos. Authorities are doing everything they can to quell the panic and maintain order. It is madness out here. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, star of the popular children's television show, is on a rampage. This is not the Stay Puft we've come to love. Fortunately, the Ghostbusters have arrived to put everything back to normal. It's damaged. I've got to fix it or we won't stand a chance. We need to get from here to there. Make sure the big boy doesn't find whatever he's looking for. Good strategy. It's dangerous, though. That's a lot of open ground to cover. All right, sport. Looks like it's me and you. Let's go across Times Square and get into the building Stay Puft is so interested in. You guys keep him off us if you think you can. He knows you're there, Ray. I don't think he likes it. Yep, he spotted us. Keep moving! Break for it! All full, going up. Uh, he, uh, just passed gas. Catch the next one. Relax, sir. We handle foul vapors all the time. Let's stay in for lunch, you said. Why leave the building, you said. It'll be quiet, you said. You know you're fired. You're right. I secretly knew our lives would be in danger and thought, hey, I'll make sure I trap Mark with me inside an elevator! Excuse us. Stay with me, Haas. I'm sure there's more fun up ahead. Oh, I missed him. Huh? Beckman, come in, please. It's pandemonium up here. Chunks of the building missing everywhere. You are required at the site now. So happy to be in demand, but these sugar balls have got me nailed down. I can't get past them. They're disgusting, and they're unhealthy. Ah, uh, did I mention there's a spectacularly beautiful lady in distress? I'll be right there. Showtime. No! Somebody help me! Easy now, miss. Just relax. No sudden movements. You're perfectly safe now. Sudden movements! Sudden movements! Keep it going! Close one! Our stream process is a strict no -nos. Wow! Check it out, kid! What a view, huh? Manhattan. I love it! Uh... Well, you're just lucky to have met someone as special as me, okay? It's okay. Dr. Venkman has you. You're fine now. You didn't spill your coffee, did you, Peter? Ray, I got coffee for all of us. But the little monster spilled it. And what's the story with those things, anyway? What? Was that a manifestation of ghosts? Uh, 
Yeah, probably. It just may be. Could be. Would you like to take the most direct route out of here or the scenic route to its lady's choice? There's a stairwell over here. Let's go. Woo! Yao, Grace under pressure. I appreciate that. In a lady. Okay, Slugger, let's you and me do this quick and quiet before Tubby Soft Squeeze out there figures out what we're up to. I think Tubby Soft Squeeze has dog ears, Ray. We're not getting out of here that way. Well, it was a good plan for a second. Okay, let's think. What did people do before stairs? Was it ladders or just jumping from rock to rock? We go up then, to the roof. Well, hello. Stay up, spotted us. Move, move. Not much longer for that. That way. Well, oh, that's. Come on, let's go. Get his attention. That's how you do it. Great job, you guys. Ha! Free s'mores for everybody from 54th Street to 5th Avenue. Happy Thanksgiving! Here he goes! The big evil sailor all the way to the- Oh! Not quite. Didn't make it. Hey, Ray, say three guys the size of your finger knocked you off the side of a 30-story building and you had to climb all the way back up to tear them apart. How, how mad would you be at those three little dinky types? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh -huh. Okay, and throw in a sugar high, too. That giant blue and white toy man thing, or whatever, is still coming. It's climbing the building. I'm impressed with his agility, considering his complete lack of bones. Good news. We've got the Super Slammer back on pulse and Ecto-1 is rolling. We're repositioning now. Can you hold the Stay Puff there for a few minutes? If by few you mean less than one, then sure, we can do that. Hey, did somebody tell you it was break time? No sweat, kid. We've got you. Well, as long as you're down there, would you see if you could knock off Mr. Sweetness? All right there, Sunshine. Are you okay? You're all strapped in. We've got a good tight grip on your belt. Here he comes! The Big Daddy Manifestation himself! A raging blob of densely packed marshmallow! Oh, boy! Melt him, Chief! Give him full screen! He's right, Rookie. Your health insurance doesn't begin for another 89 days. More of those minis. How many can he generate? From 200,000 square feet of solid marshmallow? Mm -hmm. Probably 60. You've got him on the ropes, Laxter! Plan the last one so we can go home! You've killed my dessert! Scoreboard reads Ghostbusters 2, Gozer the Gozerian 0. Looking like a real big leaguer out there, champ. Ray, Peter, we're in position. The trap is set. We're prepared to capture Stay Puff. Where is he? He's that white puddle you're driving through? Timing's off by just a hair, Egon, but we're glad the trap is working again. I guess I owe you guys my life. She's clean. How do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. So far, just another screwed up day at the office. You know, I never forget a face attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Sedgwick Hotel. You gave me the sideshow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa. Dr. Alyssa Selwyn. And- I am Dr. Peter Venkman, and that's uh, Egon. It's uh, Ray, Winston, and uh, you met him. Uh-huh, the Ghostbusters. Have you ever been involved in this type of quantum temporal rift event before? A quantum what? It's called arcing, a large pulse of psychic energy. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building, and then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. The Sedgwick. The Sedgwick doesn't have a 13th floor. 
It was pulling me like a magnet. I felt as though I was in a deep dream. I came to and ran over here. Here? It's a temporary office while I'm in town. I came to do some research after I woke up. We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. Would you like to go out for Thai? Mexican? Japanese. Wow, Dr. Venkman. That time you almost went 45 seconds without saying something abrasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? A doctor, and a fiery one, too. Charming. So charming. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian, primarily. Gozerian, more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night, just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. Please tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! Huh, that's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Peck around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? PCOC, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clown's operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay. I'll take one for the team. Stay with Alyssa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. 
and what he doesn't know can't hurt us. Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Gray Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Go! Oh, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it gonna go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the Gray Lady borders on the weird. You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat called and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually. Big crowd. Venkman would love this. Captain McMahon from the 12th says there was a massive disturbance. Real fireworks show. Not much going on now. Maybe. But didn't there used to be two lines out here? Check for valences. Hmm. Interesting. Ray, take a look at this. Wow, big spikes. Hey, Cadet, you need to see this. Stand back! Look out! There they go! Whoa! Double full torso animators! Come on! After them! You heard, Stance. Let's move. There they are. A couple of Class 5 animators. Never seen them in tandem like that. They're really agitated. Switching on the pack. All right. Take it easy. Hey! He said take it easy. That's not easy. Missed! Damn! Sorry, Z. How about a little warning next time, fellas? That one's a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Winston, check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I got no problem with that. Hey, Cadet. We use the shock blaster. It's best to get in fairly close. Its effects are powerful, but dissipate quickly over distance. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting you with it. The stasis stream will temporarily slow down paranormal entities. If you train the stream on the target long enough, you can actually stop it from fighting. This is how you use it. Cool! A freeze ray. A stasis ray. This has nothing to do with cold, but the effect is similar. When do you have the time to work on this gun? I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. It leaves me a lot of time to work. Great! Ready to roll! Hey, Hoss! You think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here. Use your PKE. Come on! After them! Stay alert. Keep your PKE meter up. Animators can hide in anything. Hey! Ugly just shot around that corner! Hey, Bloodhound! We're up here! To your right! Strong emanations. No direct source, though. We followed our guy in here. He gave us the slip. Detecting a very strong anomaly here. Here comes something big! That is a fine example of a level 6 bidimensional attractor. Egon, did I mention what a good idea you had to come up on the balcony? It's losing strength. Keep tearing it down. Power is emanating from a single focal object. There, it's focal point. Capture it. Ah. You got it. Fantastic. PK energy must it take to collect an animated entity like that? A lot. A lot of very angry energy. How easy was that? Wait, not so fast. I'm getting some big fluxes. I think it's her. Yes! Yes, it is her! Eleanor Twitty, the librarian! Look, there she is! Meet us at the stairway door. She went down that way! Winston, check upstairs to see if the other phantom doubled back. Roger. He shot us again. That witch! Oh, 
Wow, a full stabilizing levitation. I'd say we're close to something. Ray. You got something? I've got something right here. Kid, check that out. Stay. Lost. Let's go. We'll cut her off. These readings are off the charts. No, charts. Wow! Now listen, this place is reading like a psychic pressure. Find her thrower. Quick. Everybody stick close together. Temperature's dropping. Event imminent. Brace yourselves. Guys, I'm in the periodical archives looking at a stack of old newspaper clippings, all about some nut named Edmund Hoover, a.k.a. The Collector. Hmm. Go on. This dude has a history you should know about. He was a rare book collector who seduced Eleanor Twitty, the head librarian of this place. The Grey Lady? That would be my guess. <laughs> okay, guys, it's dead up here. The good kind, I mean. You all cool? We may need to get back to you on that. Hey kid, what's your 20? I'm in some kind of a dark tunnel moving fast towards a bright light. Oof! Class 1 swarmers! Pesky but combustible. Could be trouble. That's the stuff. Watch out, would you? Now where's that class 5 animator? I tracked the slut here. There's the big fish! See what he did? Give him a new home, and our containment facility. You stirred up the hornet's nest, kid. Whew. Good work. That took some doing. Congratulations, Ray. Uh, but I'm near Special Collections. Someone you've been wanting to meet again is here. We're on our way! Is a strict zone. Looks like the great lady makes her own reinforcements. Keep your eyes open, team. She's upping the ante. Thanks for the warning, Ray. But I have no idea what you're talking about. You may want to just take our word for it. Let's get a solid scan. I missed that, Ray. Please repeat. Enough with the shushing! Well, at least we're getting closer. Could not hear a word of that, Ray. Ray! Uh, Winston, where the heck are you? In the periodical section. Checking the box scores from the Knicks game last night. Why? Tell us more about this collector, Winston. Says here that this collector used the Grey Lady to get to the rare books in her care. Specifically a book called, get this, the Gozerian Codex. Great! Yeah! And when she found out what he was up to, she dumped him. Smart lady. Not really. Evidently, he murdered her for it. Uh-oh. The Grey Lady was his first victim, but he killed a bunch more. And let me guess, he collected their bodies just like he collected books? Bingo! Ray, you get to buy me dinner. And here's the last on the collector. Seconds before he was hanged, he said he would return as Azadlor, some sort of god to keep watch over the library and every rare book in its collection. Sounds like quite the bookworm. Sounds like the kind we run into all the time. Here's the place. Special collections. These rooms are packed with rare and valuable volumes. Okay, she's in here with Egon. No noise. What are those? I don't recognize them from Tobin's. No. They're in the revised Ethiary catalog. I think the Grey Lady is constructing them from the books and minor spirits here. She may be more powerful than we thought. Take a look at this place. I could spend a month taking inventory of these books. Let's be very careful what we wish for down here, Ray. 
We should tell Winston to get down here. We could probably use his help. Wow. Dig that. Ray, I'm not entirely convinced this is the best course of action. Hey, I'll bet this is a trap! Welcome back, Ray. I'm a big fan of the level 6 bi-dimensional attractor. I'm with you on that. We're lucky there were only some old books for it to manifest with. Recruit, you okay? Let's keep moving. What you find there, young blood? Good work. Spangler, the kid found the exit. I added something new to the pack. This is the PDS, Plasm Distribution System. Basically, it's Slime Blower Mark II, heavily modified from the earlier version. Your plasm banks are now integrated into the Proton Pack. It uses a base culture of ectoplasm that can impair entities, cause caustic black slime to go inert, and reveal otherwise invisible ethereal structures that reside on this plane. To use the slime blower, just point and squirt. It'll help neutralize any active batches of black slime. It'll close any portals they're opening to. Who are you? See? Neutralized slime. Our own private shortcut to hell. That's convenient. This is where the Collector killed the Librarian. I think that would be a safe assumption. That book she's reading is emitting massive energy. That's your cue, killer. Go get him. She took that pretty well, better than I expected. It makes perfect sense if her residual spirit energy is tied to the book. The Gozerian Codex, right? Now that we have it, her echo must have been released. She's gone. I think we helped her cross over. Not me, them! Throw a capture screen on her! That's good! Throw out the trap! Weird. That wasn't as tough as it should have been. I was just thinking the same thing. It was almost too easy. Like she wants us to have the Codex. Yes, like she wanted us to blast this room apart. But why? Cross-dimensional portal. From the fifth to the fourth. A whole world of ghosts. Something I've dreamt about since college. It's all in the Monarchia Demonium. Fantastic. Ghost world. Wouldn't get too excited, Ray. I have a feeling she did it so we can meet an old friend of hers. Well, if we're going... Not much choice, is there? It's the only way out. You, take the lead. Don't worry, we do this all the time. Oh no! Look out! Hmm. So 
but this is what the public library looks like on the far side of a cross-dimensional portal. It's one of infinite potential configurations. You know, theoretically. Come on, let's go! All right, keep your head down and keep hitting these portals. One of them's got to lead out. Not the scientific method, Ray? The natives are restless. Well, they're certainly aware of our presence. Looks like a good place for slime tether. To stretch a slime tether, point and launch the first anchor, then point and shoot the second. The launched slime tether will then contract. The more tethers you attach to a point, the stronger the resulting reaction. Since their ectoplasmic charge has a short half-life, tethers will grow brittle over time and then break. You can blast an existing tether with any other equipment type to destroy it. Rosarian exhibit, the huge energy pulse, the Sedgwick Hotel, the return of Stay Puffed. Yeah. Yes, even this, all pointing back to a single point of origin. Elissa? Elissa. Okay, I tried this one twice already, so it's gotta be another one. I like what they've done with the place here, but I hope that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, as it lore wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? He murdered Eleanor Twitty for it when he was alive, and a dozen others just to cover it up. Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Ah, uh, he's right behind me. Yes, I think you got his attention, Ray. Oh, boy. Hit the eye with everything you've got, now! We need to get out of here. There's a new portal back here. Come on, Rook, that's gotta be the way out. Guys! Where are you guys? What the hell were you guys? I've been running all over this library, calling you, looking for you, nothing. We passed through a cross-dimensional portal into an alternate version of the New York Public Library and fought a 40-foot monster made out of priceless antiques to steal an ancient magical book. Oh, well, that would explain it then. Next time, leave a note. Ray, does this mean anything to you? Nope, it wasn't here the first time we came through. What is it? Not entirely sure, but whatever it is, I think we just turned it off. You thinking what I'm thinking? Then cross New York style with no visible anchovy. Hmm? Maybe later. Right now I need to go back to the lab and take a look at this codex. And analyze the data we've collected. It could help us when we go to the museum. Slice to go on the way? Rookie Street? And we need to know what this is. I'll call for delivery. Again.
Well, it's a great read, but nothing about that. I know that symbol. How? It shows up sometimes in Sumerian ritual magic. There's a statue on loan at the museum that features it. What does it represent? Just a symbol. Signifies a path to obtain great power. Most of my colleagues assume it's an old constellation. No constellation I ever saw. And I used to tell fortunes on Coney Island. Is that right? Did you wear a turban? No, man. A red velvet cape with moons. It was plush. Get this. The Codex does indicate there is some kind of feeder system required to channel energy to a destructor form. A destructor form? Like Stay Puft? It's entirely possible that system and this pattern are connected. It's possible. Wait, you said the Gozerian statuary at the museum is on loan. From whom? Evo Shandor, the architect. Well, the Shandor Foundation. They control Shandor's remaining estate and holdings. Evo is a big collector of Gozerian artifacts. By Evo Shandor the architect, you mean Evo Shandor the genocidal maniac, right? That's what I was researching when Gozer attacked me. Shandor's architecture firm was involved in a number of projects around town in the late 18, early 1900s. Including Dana Barrett's old building on Central Park West. You mean the one with the extra dimensional antenna that drew Gozer to our world so he could attempt to destroy it? He had a nice view of the park, though. Yes, but he also did some renovations on existing buildings and a number of public works. There was controversy, because a lot of people thought the work was unnecessary. Let me guess. He did some renovations on the public library building on 5th. Right. And the Museum of Natural History. Recent visitations, specific localized paranormal activity, singing Vikings. They're all connected to Shandor and this pattern. Thirteen new messages. Egon, our new boss, called again. Please don't call him that. Just... Heck, that's bad enough. Heck, called again. He's not happy. He says that if you guys fire just one more unauthorized proton stream, he'll shut us down for good. Hello, Ghostbusters. Yes. What a miserable pile of weed. I don't think so. We should warn the mayor. I don't know. He's likely to just sick peck on us even more. You should get a closer look at the museum. Well, the mayor is going to be at the museum for the exhibitioning opening gala tonight. It's where I need to be, too. Elissa, you sure make work fun for me. Is business casual okay? I don't have a tux. Are you kidding? He doesn't want you guys within three city blocks of the museum tonight. He thinks you make his campaign contributors nervous. Besides, that pet guy will be at the party, too. Okay, Egon will stay here and finish analyzing the data from the library. The rest of us will go in by the service entrance of the museum and lay low. Peter can attend the party as Alyssa's guest and stay in plain sight of Peck. And that frees us up to check out the rest of the building. I love this plan. It's just dull enough to work. Ill, I'm going to bring you a corsage. Yes, we just arrived at the loading dock. Keep Peck distracted. We're going to poke around. Okay, I'll take one for the team. No sign of the curator. Alyssa told me he'd meet us right here. Was that a possessor? Maybe. It looked like a level seven or above, too. Didn't you used to fight class coups and threes every now and then? What happened to them? They were easy. Ah, the good old days. I'm more worried that she'll stir things up around here. I expect we'll see her again sooner than we want to. Hello? Who's in there? Somebody that wants out is who. Hey, cadet, get in here and clear this off, please. Be ready for anything. Possessors are tricky. Oh, oh Dr. Rutherford. Uh, Z, meet the assistant curator of the museum. Is that horrible, terrible thing gone? Yeah, she's gone. You good? I, uh, yes, I suppose so. I'm a big fan. I even had you over for my daughter's birthday a couple years ago. Is that so? Eh, well, I think we can get you a sticker or button or mug or t-shirt or something when we're done here. Oh, that would be wonderful. Follow me. We'll go through the restoration department.
There it is again! Don't let it get me! Don't you worry. She'll have to go through me first. Not Kakala Warp! Can you help him? Hold him down, young blood! You guys are really good! Voila! That's fusion base exorcism in a nutshell. Cleaner than somebody's head spinning all around in barbing pea soup. Will he be okay? How you doing, Ray? How's it buzzer? How's it buzzer? Buzzer was this. Oh, he'll be fine in a second. After you. Oh no, if this place is possessed by possessors, we'd better get to Peter fast. Venkman, we found the curator. We're on our way to the Gozer exhibit now. There's so much to show you. Uh, where to start? Things have been very strange since they started setting up that exhibit. Well, hello there. Dig it, Peter. Ray got possessed again. Ah, Z! You'll have to go through me first. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. Just like a puppy. Every day's the first day. No, no, no! I want the Ghostbusters ejected from this facility immediately! Where's his honor, Pecker? We've got news for him and a photo op. The mayor is indisposed right now. Anything you need to tell him goes through me. Not happening, Peckaby. This is for Jock and Jock alone. We will wait for him to get redisposal. Security! Remove these men with excessive force. Uh. Boys? Why do the good ones always play hard to get? Is going on here? They got picked. Well, no, I, ne I never got him. More possessor ghosts. Kid, you know what to do. Right, huh? well, I know what not to do. Party's over, folks. Clear the room. Hurts, doesn't it? Let it all out. I'll see you all on Rikers Island for this. Whoa, take a break. Do you ever shut up? Yes, stance bags another one. <laughs> all right, you guys go after Alyssa. Be careful. I'll get to security. I love this plan. I'll man the security cameras to triangulate them on the monitors and talk you through. See you soon, Ray. Let's go, guys. See you soon, guys. Dr. Rutherford, if you'll show me to security. Peter, come in. Hi, honey. How was your day? Men, we've reached the security office. This one is a shambles. It's been sabotaged. Black slime all over the place. Only a few of the cameras are still working. When you're free, no rush. Open gate 3487. Just for kicks. Give me a minute. Oh, we're under attack. We'll get back Ray, to you. stay away from any possessions. Um, Dr. Rutherford, if you're still there, can you go catch Dr. Stance, please? Okay, I shook off that possessor. Found a different security room. Can't find Dr. Rutherford, though. I must have scared him off. You're not pretty when you're possessed, Ray. Seriously. I've got you on the cameras. You should be coming to the Civil War exhibit. Alyssa just passed through there. Okay, we're on it. Thanks. Let's just pass through here as quickly as we can. Yeah, I didn't really think we could do it. Just thinking happy thoughts. Couldn't have 
been the American Revolutionary War, could it? Or the War on Roses? Even the War on Drugs? It just had to be this one. You play hardball, Rook! Let's see you guys fight it out inside that tiny little trap. Yeah, they took some casualties. We made it to the security office. I can see you guys on the cameras. No sign of Alyssa or her kidnappers, though. In the early 1900s, the museum was run by a board of trustees. Powerful guys, tycoons, captains of industry. The chairman of the board was Cornelius Wellesley of International Steel. The board used the museum as a respectable front for all kinds of dubious activities. Mainly, though, they were part of a club run by our favorite evil architect. They hired women from the St. Nicholas Rehabilitation Mission for Wayward Angels. Rumor has it the board conducted all kinds of nasty rituals using these women. We've got to find that oozing tub of blubber and Alyssa. Whoa, look out! Watch it now. Yeah, of course. The trap locks us in with the ghost. Wouldn't it be nice to get locked out every now and then? There's a new one. Again, kid. Take that back to the grip. Hey, Ray, how do we get out of the Egypt exhibit? The main door is blocked up tight. The Egyptian main room? Check the west wall. There should be a door leading through to the next exhibit. I'm looking right at the west wall, and I don't see a door. Well, I'm looking right at the blueprints, and, uh... Oh, I get it. Clever. The ghosts used their own dimensionally anomalous signatures to slightly wrinkle the time-space continuum. The door is still there. Good. Thank you very much. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Hey, guys, did you find Alyssa? Where did that ghost go? You didn't see him, but he just came through here. He must be headed back to the World of Gozer exhibit. That's our cue. Mm -hmm. What a nightmare. Thank you. Not the words of rescuing hero wants to hear from his damsel in distress. May I say, your eyes are much prettier when they're not glowing like hot coals. Peter, I've made an extraordinarily frightening discovery. Why don't you all go away? All my data indicate that the ghost world is beginning to push through multiple cross portals from their dimension into ours. Well, more overtime. Guys, look! <laughs> She calls my name. Block the exits! Don't let him escape with her. Hit him with slime. <laughs> Winston, get the lady out of here before he hits on her again. <laughs> Into the big yellow eye. <laughs> Who wouldn't like
like to have that superpower. Care to tell me why my library, museum, and parade are all going down the toilet? I keep telling you, sir, the Ghostbusters are nothing but scam artists determined to throw a negative light on you and the city and extort you for more money. Hello, Peck. I own that suit in blue. Both of you! Pipe down! Mr. Mayor, an enormous event is on the horizon. Something at the museum exhibit triggered a systemized psychic occurrence. Some mechanism we don't know the nature of yet. No, of course you don't. But it's feeding enormous energy somewhere. Something that's now in the process of breaking down the walls between our world and another one. This other world is crossing through into ours. It started with simple ghosts and animated monsters. Now it's getting bigger. We don't know exactly what's next, but there's only room for one city here in this dimension. Two physical worlds can't exist in the same space. That's just elementary particle physics. We got a glimpse of the other world, Jock. It ain't pretty. It's like Brooklyn and the Bronx with no queens in the middle. Whole city blocks sinking into a fifth dimensional abyss. Cockroaches the size of polo ponies. Panic in the streets. How'd you like disco to come back? Bigger than ever. I get it. We're in trouble. So what am I supposed to do? We need to prepare the city for the worst. The city's my responsibility, not yours. Now go do your job and stop that thing. You got a bite on your PKE? Scan around for something paranormal with your goggles. Way, gentlemen. Well, this looks inviting. I'll be at the office watching over Alyssa. Don't do anything fun without me. Oh, my. So. Much black slime. Oh, it just seems like a lot because it's alive. The column is flowing upwards. If you see a big yellow eye in there, poke it with something. No yellow eye, Ray. Maybe it already went up there. Well, that doesn't sound good. Is it my turn to lead? I don't want to jump in front. Hello, Chairman. Ready to get what's coming to you? <laughs> You've got him on the rope! Nice work! That's how it's done. I should have shuttered you fraudulent gangsters forever when I had the chance. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this madness now. Right now. I'm shutting down your containment grid for good. You can kiss off a permanent license, not to mention any chance for more government contracts. You did this to me. And you're going to pay. You're welcome, you peck. All right, that's it. That's it. You're done, smart guys. You are done, smart, cool guys. I have the authority, and I'm shutting you and your phony containment grid down now. The whole city will have to pay because of your shenanigans. The whole city! What? But that shuts you down, too. Well, so be it. I have bigger fish to fry. And get him off me! I think we need to keep an eye on him. You think? No. I mean, we really need to keep an eye on him. You're real heroes. Kind of routine. As usual, I led the charge. <laughs> We're fired heroes. Peck's gonna pull our license. Well, get real, Ray. It's the holidays. Nobody in this town's gonna be around to pull our license till Monday. We got the whole weekend to stop this calamity and probably half a dozen others, save the city. We got a four-day weekend. We have time left for ourselves. Dr. Vinkman, if they start evacuating Manhattan, I won't be coming in on Monday. Catastrophic exodus of the city does not count as a floating holiday. I know. I looked it up. What does this symbol mean? 
Uh, guys. Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. A mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clearer. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! Well, Dr. Venkman. Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, just math. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know, plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing and we're going to go back to the Sedgwick and find out what. Isn't that right, Brainiac? That's right, Peter. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room, 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Yeah, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? I'm gonna have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. Whoa, if this place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. Close until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. What now? Hmm. This notice is for the general public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Especially the Ghostbusters. All right, heat them up. We'll melt our way in. Wait. I have a better idea. Good thinking. Hmm. This is disappointing. No. Disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for a hank. Why they shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If this place is a Mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, destroyed paintings, shattered vases, probably some minor structural damage. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Definitely a mandala node. If we don't shut down Shandor's mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey, I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600 square foot walk-up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. It's an ambush! Get them hot! Wait a minute, wait. I don't think they're a threat. They may only be residual hauntings. I think Ray is right. 
They haven't crossed entirely into this dimension. They're just psychokinetic echoes. Ghosts of ghosts. Completely harmless. Great. I was hoping to meet a friendly ghost someday, but I'll settle for harmless right now. I'm getting a strong valence spike higher up in the building. Alyssa said she was called to the 12th floor. Let's start there. Nothing. They'd have shut down the power when they closed. Can we take the stairs? Well, we can try climbing, but the last time we were here, a level 3 animator took out the bottom of the staircase. Yeah, that's right. Forgot you weren't here last time, Winston. So, no stairs, no elevators. Did you hear something? Over there! Come on! I think we're dealing with a level 5 anchored ambusher. Be careful. It went into the stairwell! We've got it cornered! Help! This is just how a level 5 anchored ambusher lures you in! The manager? What are you doing here? Ghosts. Monsters. Everywhere. There was another voice. A woman screamed. Are you alone in here? Look, I just said ghosts and monsters everywhere. Does that sound like I'm alone? He meant people. Then yes. I think so. Well, I guess that explains it. Sir, there's no need to fear. These are just shadows, echoes of actual ghosts. They can't hurt you. Come with us, sir. We can lead you to safety. Someone you know? I don't know. Most of the old staff knows the story of the Spider Witch, a professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 1920s. What are you still doing here? Why didn't you evacuate with everyone else? I came back last night to retrieve some payroll records, but the hotel won't let me out. The door's shut on me, and the phones are down too. That means we're trapped now too. And we have to hope that Peter figures out we're missing. There goes a weekend. Not necessarily. The 12th floor is apparently the core of this node. If we can get the power back on, we can take the elevators. If the elevators don't eat us. Yes, if the elevators don't eat us. Where are the circuit breakers for this place? We don't have a lot of time. Breakers? In my office. But the city came and turned off most of our power after the electrical fire on the third floor. There's no way to turn it back on from here. That's inconvenient. We've got to find some way to get the elevators moving. There's a backup generator in the utility room, off the kitchen. It's for emergency blackouts. Perfect. Let's give it a try. To the kitchen. Come on, kid. The elevators should be working, unless something... Never mind. Let's get back to the lobby. Listen. What's that smell? Over there! Come on! Look out, it's the late ship! Yeah, but this is just the hell. Where's the bomb? I can't believe I just said that out loud. I know that guy. It's the mass poisoner. Chef the forest. So nobody eat anything in here, even if you're really hungry. I'm about to swallow my own tongue, Ray. Will that be okay? Thank God you're here. Everything checks out here. It's about time. Okay, it looks like the psycho mass has come to rest about 190 feet above our heads. The 13th floor. This hotel has no 13th floor. None of the grand old hotels do. Man's got a strong argument. We'll split the difference. Egon, you and the Tenderfoot go to the 12th floor. Winston and I will check out the 14th. Uh, sir, if you'll please come with us. Fine, but stay in contact. This place is extraordinarily dangerous. What were you saying earlier about the Mandala node? You mean, why do we keep seeing new ghosts? Yeah. Okay. Think of the Mandala as a city bus line. At the bus station, ghosts or waiting passengers are drawn into the system here and trapped. This concentrates their PK energy, which is then eventually forced through to the next node, or station, and so on until it all ends at a final terminus. At each successive bus station, the station manager absorbs some of the energy. This makes the station manager, or node guardian, stronger so that it can keep the ghosts in line and destroy anyone who comes to the station to interfere with the flow. These nodes, or bus stations, gather the power used to feed a central point 
thus creating a much bigger threat to our world. Does that make more sense now? DTTC, totally trapped transit company. Yeah, you were going strong right up until the passengers got trapped inside the bus station. When is my performance review again? I deserve more stock options. I say, young lady, you are full of surprises. After you, my dear. Well, that was terrifying. Be extremely careful. This is likely to be a point of dangerous concentration. Odd. It's coming from everywhere and nowhere. Impossible to get a significant fix. Ray, come in. Are you there? Egon. What happened? We lost you for a minute there. We had a close contact. I've got some more information on the Spider Witch Ghost. The manager says authorities never found her, but... The bodies were hung from the ceiling. They were drained of blood and dragged around. He says the victims were found in a pretty bad state. The walls were painted in blood. Furniture was half chewed and crushed and piled in a corner like a giant nest. She seems to have vandalized the room badly, too. Hmm. I don't want to be hung from a ceiling and drained of blood. I tell you this much, I do not want to be found in a bad state or vandalized. I think that sentiment is unanimous. We need to go through here. <laughs> Ray, come in. Yeah, what's up? What was the Spider Witch's room number? 1221. After her spree, it was locked up. Until about five years ago when we remodeled. Hear that? Room 1221. I think that... Hey! Pour it out! <laughs> Whoa. Hey, watch! <laughs> This floor is undergoing significant metamorphosis. Ghost World is aggressively encroaching on ours. It's not even utilizing a portal. This is very bad. My ankles. Goodness, we hardly know each other. What? What are you? No! Help! No. Please. No! It's the ghost world crossing through, happening sooner than we expected. It looks like this is where the node is focused. We could use some help. Ray, are you there? Come in, Ray! Looks like it's up to us. Let's find 1221 and finish this. I don't like the look of this, but we've run out of options. Come to me. aren't alone. Which ones are these? These are not
Look, the mandala map. Ray, Winston, come in, you there? He gone. What happened? You all right? Their crew found the 13th floor and we shut it down. PKE levels are back to acceptable parameters. This node of the mandala is fully neutronized. All right. Where are you? We went back down to the 12th floor and couldn't find anything. Everything seems pretty normal. Looks like we're back in the Ruby Ballroom. We'll meet you at Ecto-1. Egon, remind me. Why are we driving aimlessly in the fog? The final note, Beckman. Close it, and we seal the mandala, trapping the ghosts inside. Sorry to break this to you, Egon, but I just don't see a mandala... You were saying? Shandor Island. It's here. Drop you guys in circle. If Ecto-8 sinks, we're sunk too. Ray, since you're the most excited about going to Ghost Island, why don't I just take the boat? I, I, I thought I was making a nice gesture. You're giving me the suspicious look. <laughs> Drop it instantly. Let's get going, because nobody enjoys rushing headlong towards their death more than this fellow. What's the story behind this place, he got? The Shandors owned this island for generations. The castle was built in the 1860s. Evo Shandor used it as a refuge, a lab, and a temple for he and other cult members to worship Gozu. Ooh, okay, that's all well and good. But can someone explain to me how an entire island sinks? The night the last Shandor died, there was a huge tidal surge, and the river just swallowed the island whole. Shandor consecrated the island to Gozer, and the ghost world reclaimed it. Mm -hmm. City's lucky it's in the middle of the river instead of Rockefeller Center. We're lucky now, but soon the ghost world will continue to assert itself into ours, and the damage will be incalculable. Hmm. Just another screwed up day at the office. It appears that we need to take that staircase to get inside. That's a big hole, guy. And I am not swimming in the Hudson River in November. So, how do you want to get across? Maybe that crane still works. Well, if you could get that from over there to over here, make the world a better place. So the fossilized boat wasn't enough. Now you want to activate some pre-Columbian death trap machinery. Pre-Columbian death trap machinery is a good idea. Look at that. Rookie, move the crane. All right, swing it around. Almost. Work it over this way to cover the hole. Bring it in. Almost there. Whoa. Great. Yo, new guy. Good work. Oh! You all right? What's with you? You know you only get paid if we live. Recruit, you okay? Let's keep moving. Careful, we don't wear helmets. Guys, there's way too much dangerous debris falling in here. I've got to take Marine Ecto-8 out where it's safer. Don't go too far, Ray. We need you. We're gonna need you really fast. Aye, aye, see. Raise me on the horn if you need me. Check this joint out. That's a three million dollar view, even by Manhattan standards. My apartment used to look like this. Chandra's public architectural style ranged from federal to art deco. His personal tastes, however, obviously lean toward the Gozarian. Oh. Now I see what they mean by early demonic. That doesn't sound good. There's an open door. Hey, we know those guys. attacked us in Times Square. They're gargoyles from Shandor buildings. Guess Evo would be tickle pink to know his old security system still works so long after he died. Uh, That's a lot of whatever they are. Now, look, the door's controlled by that chain. 
Hey, you. You're up, buddy. Okay, Cadet. You first. I got your back. Yeah, that'll work. Hmm. A ticket we're not welcome. Yeah? There's a first. I'm gonna get a... Alyssa. I see her. You and me both. She's wearing just a simple terry cloth robe. And she's brought me coffee. That's her, all right. Spitting image. The resemblance is uncanny. This is Evo Shandor's mother, painted in 1885. Wait. What? Alyssa is a Shandor? Why does this always happen to me? I meet a girl, she's crazy about me, but she always turns out to be some kind of unbelievable fixer-upper. This is all making sense. Alyssa must have inadvertently triggered the mandala because she has Shandor blood. She doesn't know it. When I did her profile, she told me she was adopted. Some coincidence, huh? You don't really believe this happened by accident. No. Someone must have known and set this up. The mayor did say that Peck personally recommended Alyssa to be the guest curator of the Gozer exhibit. Once a Peck, always a Peck. Shandor must have employed hundreds of workers for years to build this place. The supports are waterlogged, the mortar is decrepit, and the foundation is shattered. In purely physical terms, there's no way all this can still be standing. You sound like you're surprised. No, not really. It's beautiful, in a horrific way. You can't deny the pure genius of Shandor. It's a pity that it was all used for evil. If he would have just channeled some of it for good, the things he could have done. Posthumous black mass. What? People still worship me, even after they're dead? It's a powerful church, man. This is great! It is officially time for us to go. Check this joint out. Unless my sensory array is malfunctioning, that is definitely the place we're looking for. Hey, where'd the caddy go? Yo, cool breeze. Come on out. Peter, behind you! No! Get back! Take your imaginary hands off me, man! No! There's too many- <gasps> Egon! They got Egon! Bring him back here! Kid, help us! Okay, you need to get to the others so they can help you. Please be careful. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. But it sounds big. When big things attack, it hurts. Hey, Rook! I'm trapped in a dark place. Can, can barely move my arms. Can you find me? I think you're getting closer to me. The sounds are getting louder. You know, I always did like you more than the others did. Keep looking, man. I've got to be around somewhere in here. Hey, in here. Give me a hand. Hey! Ooh, thanks, man. I was seriously cramping up in there. This is all looking a little familiar. Ray would be giggling right now. This must be where all the mood slime came from. Look, they must have pumped it straight into the sewers from here. Let's go find Egon. Then we'll think about finding people. What is this place? Shandor's cult was working some crazy experiments in here. There's blue slime, pink slime, yellow slime, but every ghost in here is coated with black slime. What's generating it all? Where's it all coming from? Okay, now, get a scan. Light them up! Being dead for 80 years sure hasn't improved these guys' disposition any. Let's see how you... This is the kind of stuff that really shows well on your review. I think you're really turning some heads back at the headquarters. Man, what are these spooks up to? I get the whole mandala immortality and power thing, but what's up with all the slime signs? Ah, 
This island's got to be sitting directly on a cross-dimensional portal. I think I hear you guys. Yes, that sounds like my equipment. You're getting close. Get me out of this thing. I don't want to be eaten by black slime. Egon, hang on. We're almost to you. Thank you. This is going to reflect well on your performance review. In most cases, I find close proximity to mildew stimulating. That was a little much, though. Have you seen Venk? Well, you know... Have you looked for him? Well, you know... The meter seems to indicate that he's somewhere in this direction. This machinery indicates an astounding level of sophistication. Pure evil notwithstanding, Evo Shandor was far ahead of his time. You know I have to take my hat off to Shandor? This lab was built how many years ago? It's truly impressive. It's likely Shandor was the parapsychology expert of his time. Stay in the light, Egon. I'm trying, Winston. Should we try to find Peter, or...? They probably stashed him around here somewhere. Help! Yo, a little help! Shh. Shh! I think I hear him. Did somebody call a break? Yep, that's Vinkman, all right. Now, we're sure about this, right? We need to be at full strength to shut down this node. Way to go! I feel a momentum swing here in our favor. Get out there and find the Mandala node and shut it down. That should really piss someone off. What are they doing? The readings are as big as those at the library when we crossed over. I think it's safe to assume that the machine they're working on was not built for a benign purpose. It's an orrery, a device typically used for predicting planetary alignment. In this case, it appears to actually be aligning dimensions. I, for one, do not want the dimensions to align. Not this close to Christmas. That would put a damper on the holidays. How do we shut that thing down? The motion of those devices seems to be generating some sort of energy. Hard to tell, though. What if we tried locking those things down? I can calculate 54 likely outcomes. We'd survive three of them. That beats our usual odds. Unfortunately, you're correct. Let's do it. It looks like the movement of those spheres is stabilizing the interior structure. What if they stopped moving? So far, this Gooby Island has been a slime tether amusement park. Why should that change now? Yes! You did. How come people smart enough to use science always try to take over the universe? Huh? Egon! Great! Anyone? Didn't think so. Wait. Those planets are aligning. I'm not so sure this is the safest course of action. I think we found the source of the black slime, Winston. I wasn't that curious! The whole room's filling up! Get to higher ground! All right, gentlemen, it's official. This was a bad idea. The stench is horrible. Smells like the Fulton fish market when they've got fish. Wait, I know that dumpster. A putrid mass of hatred, bile, and anger. Not exactly Mr. Sunshine, is This is the part where we do what we do. Blow. All the nodes are closed. The ghosts are trapped in the mouth. Right where they belong. Our boy Evo Shandor didn't factor in that he was messing with the Ghostbusters. Ha ha ha! Yeah, that makes a mistake. We're gonna have to have a long talk with him. Don't forget that Peter's girlfriend is a Shandor. Very much. You guys need to get down to the shore and fast! I don't know how much longer I can hold her. The whole island's sinking! Ray, keep the motor running! We are coming at you fast! Peter, get out of there! How was it? Was it cool? What did it look like? Did you get any samples? Did it have multiple eyes? Shut up. Oh, thank God you're here. What's going on, Janine? Where's Alyssa? 
She's gone. They took her. One minute everything was fine, the next it was chaos. Ghosts flying everywhere. Janine, slow down. Start from the beginning. Okay. Well, I was a little late this morning because one of the heels on my favorite pair of pumps broke, and Lester's was out of my favorite tea. You know how I love my chamomile. Well, and... Okay. Maybe not the beginning. Start where things went haywire around here. Okay. Okay. Somebody jumped me from behind. And before I passed out, I heard Alyssa struggling and yelling, No! And the last thing I remember was the screams of the dead and damned echoing in my brain. So either there was a mass escape from Rikers... Or someone shut down our containment grid again. Again? Just like Peck threatened to do. It's funny. I always knew that Peck was a pencil-necked bureaucratic prick. But I never pegged him as an evil occultist. But where did he take her? And where are all the ghosts? Cause, no offense, but if all the ghosts we've ever caught just escaped, I'm clocking out. Yeah, they would be awfully mad at us. Exactly. It's generally a bad idea for the guards to hang out in the cell blocks just after a prison break. This just in. As authorities continue to supervise the Thanksgiving evacuation of Manhattan, increasingly powerful tremors are rocking Central Park. The question is, where are the Ghostbusters? Uh, tell you what, kind of a nice day. Why don't we go to Central Park? Could round up some ghosts, say the girl, get back in time for a nap. Okay, the Ghostbusters ride again. Just once, I wouldn't mind running with these other fools away from the trouble. Where's the fun in that? Guesses on where we'll find Peck and Alyssa? I suspect that we're going to need the Super Slammer up there. No telling how powerful Peck has grown. That means we gotta take the Ecto-1. I'll drive. Maybe the trainee should drive. Nah! Thanks, Winston. Any ideas? Ah! Junior's pretty spry, even with that hundred pounds of proton accelerator. Ow! That was... that was ow there! Make your way around to the other side and open this gate for us. Wow. Look at the storm system building above that tower. Remember the last time we saw that kind of atmospheric disturbance? That's right. At Dana Barrett's building, the night she turned into a dog. I don't get it. We shut down the Mandela. How can all this still be happening? In the Gozerian Codex, it's written that a blood sacrifice and a tremendous amount of spiritual energy are needed to generate the supreme destructor form. A destructor form? Again? Peck probably couldn't draw sufficient energy from the Mandala before we shut it down. He found an alternate source in our containment unit. The energy of the escaped ghosts from our grid might be enough to produce a cross-dimensional event in itself. Yes, and with Alyssa here, I'm sure her Shandor ancestors aren't far behind. I'll go with the intern. Nobody should wander around alone in this place. We'll meet you guys a little further on.
You saw them too, didn't you? They think they're sneaky. Let's spread out and flank them. There's the key! It's too heavy to carry ourselves. Get it back to the gate so we can keep going! Wait a minute. Oh, I get it now. This has been bugging me. When the necromantic shockwave summoned Gozer back to our plane, why didn't he assume a more effective destructor form immediately? I mean, the Marshmallow Man is scary, sure, but there has to be a better way to destroy the world. It's simple. When he enters our plane of existence, he must be locked into that form from our first encounter. One destructor form per god per dimension. I like it. Sounds like the kind of symmetry these things tend to operate on. Hey, so maybe I didn't choose such a bad destructor after all, huh? Look, up there. It's getting worse. This isn't the Central Park I'm used to. You still have your wallet? That means one of two things. Either we're in trouble or we're dinner. Is there a difference? Hey, we haven't tested proton packs in the rain. That's what the recruit is doing right now. Great! Wait a minute. I'm wearing one too. That's true, Ray. How's it going so far? Do you smell any burning or experience any painful tingling? You'll be the first one to know. Or the second. We've got to smash the coffins while they're airborne! Otherwise, we have to deal with these! Lamo! You screwed up a hornet's nest, kid! Well, hello there. Great. You guys alright? Man, there ain't nothing dead in this way. Thanks for joining the party. They're throwing everything they have at us to stop us from getting to that mausoleum. That's as far as I can go. You guys got a clear path for me. Ray, readings here are extremely unstable. Energy from the mandala and the escaped ghost is building up to a flashpoint. We don't have much time. Man, the graves pushing up through here really did a number on this place. Walter Pack is going to have a lot to answer to from the city parks department. If we can prevent the apocalypse, that is. Hey, over here, a little help? Yo, a little help? We tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Uh -huh. Well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, well, about guy. They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Peter, go kick one. The only hope you have is to stay alive and keep them away from the echo. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, they're little stone angels capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. How a cozy aim. Man, I'm going back to sudden. Particle throwers aren't doing anything to them! Tether them and smash them into something! Great, I'm gonna need another eye on the shower. Hook them together! Timber! Thanks for joining the party. I think we're getting close. Hey, guys! A little help? I bet we could pull these gates down. Hey, Rick, we got a chain or winch for this thing? I didn't plan for a fun-filled day of off-roading with Ecto-1, so no. The tether might prove useful here. Okay, kid. Tether the gate to my bumper, and I'll pull it down. Okay, good. Give me a few more, just to be sure. 
Now we're talking. This way, gentlemen. Thank you. Nicely done. I'm not sure going underground now is a good idea. Come on, Spangs. Getting there is the fun part. Careful. This matrix is becoming increasingly unstable. Uh-oh. Check that out. That's our next stop. Ever feel like you're being watched? Egon. What? Please. Get ready. Same drill as before. Hook me up again. I'll take care of it. Right. The tethers. Boom! And the... Ah! At least the tethers held. My fault. Miscalculated. Winston! Oh, man. Damn. It's stuck! For real! Acto-1! She's tough, but she took that pretty hard. Can you get her rolling again? Nah. Crickets. She's down for the count, guys. I hate leaving her here like this. I know it, Ray. This is definitely turning into a bad neighborhood. But we've got to keep moving. Guess we're walking from here. Some of us have been walking. Keep your eyes peeled! I think we've got guests. I knew it! Ow, there! What can unlock the gate? The glowing indentations are obviously people. They are? Oh, sure, I see it now. Where are the keys, then? It may be possible to harness their interdimensional cranial energy source. Those fellas turned out to be pretty helpful. This team can play, no doubt about it. Exciting, and somehow risky. Wait, it's Ilsa. It's Peck. Can we blast him? Just one's really hard. Nobody's gonna know. Easy, Benjamin. Everything points to Peck being a pawn. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. It's the mayor. No, Ray, it's not. It's Evo Shandor. Shandor possessed the mayor, turned Peck on us to slow us down, and when we shut down his Mandela before he could get fully juiced, he hijacked our ghost out of the containment unit as an alternate energy source. Very good. And they say you're the slow one. Wait, what? Who says that? Everybody. What's the girl have to do with it? Taking her was necessary. To assume my own destructor form, I require blood. My blood. What about Gozer? I thought you built this all for him. I did, but he failed me. Twice! How he earned the title the Destroyer is beyond me. Anyway, I thought to myself, why worship a god when you can actually become one? Slime him. Deactivate your pulse, and we'll cross the streams with the blast function. I can't shut mine down, Ray. Me too. Me neither, I mean. Who decided to reinforce these shoulder straps? Hey, Shandor. Where's your destructor form now? 
Leave it in your other suit. so scary. The contractor, that's what kills you. Peter, you don't understand. He's the architect, and he controls Ghost World. And he can come into our world. And what do architects do? Well, they dream, and they have mechanical pencils, and they forget to put in linen closets. I pay your means to start a new Break, do you ever shut up? Yeah. No! Listen! I will pierce your world with girders of steel and panes of glass. That's just mean super villain French, right? All those guys talk like that. I will crush your world under the weight of my cities. to get through this shielding. It's growing stronger. for breakfast. I'm deactivating the cross stream governor. I never thought I'd say this again. Cross the stream! We eat gods for breakfast? Too much, you think? No, I liked it. I've got you. Get me down from here. Please, New I'm begging you, let me You're down! Huh? <laughs> this is not the last you will see of me. Ghostbusters! Hey, fellas! What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Uh, where is here? You were the victim of a trans-dimensional possession, Your Honor. Uh, what's that mean? An evil ghost was walking around in your body for a few months. Well, did anyone notice? Well, how's my approval rating? Well, you got re-elected. By the way, you're a descendant of Shandor. Yeah, I kinda got that. What? 